Hey everyone, I'm little Steffi. I love to travel around this big world and I love to travel scrapbook all those memorabilia and holy day pictures. I show you different ways, styles and techniques on how to get your creativity flowing so you can do your own awesome vacation scrapbooks for yourself, your family and friends. Today I'm going to show you loads of different memorabilia that you can collect and that you should collect on your trip because there's way more to consider than just tickets, uh, brochures, receipts and maps. There's so much more. And I will also tell you how you can put them in your layouts in different ways. But of course I don't know all the techniques that are out there. Uh, so if you think like I forgot to mention a possibility of how you can incorporate something or if I've actually forgotten a memorabilia that you could collect, please let me know immediately in the comments below. Thank you! Most of the memorabilia I'm going to mention is always or often referred to as free, so you don't have to pay money, but actually you have to pay for your tea, for example, or your candy, your hotels, your trips by train, plane, whatever, first to receive these little items so think of them of something that you've paid for so of course you're allowed to take them with you if you want to it's not like you should feel ashamed to take these bits and pieces back home with you after your trip let's start with this pile over here this is all sorts of things um, when you go on a plane of course you've got your um, tickets it's got stamps on here the little pieces and you've got the luggage tags um, that you can use. This is a very fancy one from Emirates. It's plastic. Um, this was on the back, you know, for the for the transfer in China. But you can also um, take an arrival card that you haven't used with you or the menu of the plane that you ate. Or oh, this is something very special because we had a battery pack in our luggage and they gave us this note that we couldn't take that battery pack with us. That was in China so I kept that. But you all have uh, other transport methods like the bus, the trains, uh, by boat, so different sizes that you can take with you. If you do a trip by car, um, this is for uh, the amount that you have to pay when you go to Austria. This is a parking ticket. So this is a tip when you go to a country where you don't know the language. So where it is, it says parking, so I know it's a parking ticket and how much it was, but I didn't know where. So I put that post-it on there. Uh, so that's just a little tip. This is actually a penalty for wrong parking that I kept, so I will always remember this something strange. Or, for example, um, your rental car. This is something to keep as well. This pile over here is probably the most important one. This is all about uh, tickets, admissions, entrances to museums, temples, castles, churches, any shows or um, like famous sites, city halls, tours, movies you've went to and uh, this is pretty nice because you get a ribbon um, from the temple in Sri Lanka and on some of them, like these in Thailand, you're allowed to put um, a stamp on there so that's pretty cute and of course receipts, so I put uh, the name of the city here as well uh, this is actually from a uh, filling station and then from our cash from the cash machines withdrawals from what we bought this is the receipt from a hotel so there are loads and loads of receipts that you can collect throughout your journeys but sometimes especially with this kind of paper the um, the prints will fade away after a while so you have to keep it away from sunlight and it's probably best not to glue it down on your pages but put you know like washi tape and uh, so you can actually remove it when it's completely just white and you think like that's not nice anymore 
or you could put them in a pocket. So the next things are brochures and leaflets. So I've got leaflets here of a church, um, but also brochures from the transportation that you took. So that's from the train in, I think it was Sweden, and it's nice because it shows where it goes and some more information about the train journey itself or even like shopping center. Maybe I, I keep the name, just you know, that piece here to put that in the scrapbook. So this is a brochure from a museum that we really really liked very much so I don't want to cut it out uh, and just use different things and it's a bit thicker um, so what you can do, you know, as I mentioned before, put them in an envelope, in your scrapbook, in a pocket, or you can clip it, you know, in different sides, depending on where you want to put it in, uh, in layout. But you could also put washi tape, you know, on this side and this side, and then it's in your layout, on your side, and you can flip around, open it, you can put notes in here, and, you know, you can journal in that as well. Leave a note what you liked about the museums. Another tip would be to take multiple of these brochures and then you can decide if you want to cut out pieces or just use that and then try your layout and then you're like, oh no, I don't like it, I, I want to use the whole brochure or whatever and then you could just take the next one. Um, this is actually the brochure of a site that we didn't go in, we didn't go into that museum but in front of that were some food trucks so we had lunch there and I just might use this image in the background of the food picture that we took just to remind us that we were sitting like there in front of that big church museum and uh, yeah it was just nice to pick that up and here is also a little location of where it was. So I might use that as well. So there's also from, from a museum, like a tour guide. This was from a festival. Now when you go on a trip, of course you have to have breaks. You have to have your coffee or your beer and it comes with these little, let's say, coasters. Um, also offer beer. You can take the caps with you. It's a bit hard to, to use them um, because if you use them upside down and screw them you don't see the image so you could hot glue them. If you use them inside the book it gets pretty thick so I'd rather use this on the cover or you can slip them again in an envelope or a pocket or with what I might do or what you could do with currencies as well these little pockets here and you can keep them in there. So same with currencies. You get that for, for coins, these little plastic see-through transparent. Yeah you don't see that though, right? But I also keep the packaging of tea, like the tag of the tea that I drank. It's pretty nice. So I might use that as a tag, you know, on the side of, of the page and to flip it and then I know, oh, that was when we had a tea break or coffee break. And also, if you drink wine like we did in Italy, you can keep the cork and if you slice them, you can use them as different embellishments in your scrapbook layer. It's pretty nice. One I will never forget, this is actually just a sugar bag, you know, a collect sugar bags all around but this was in Sri Lanka and when I said oh I'm gonna keep this for my travel scrapbook my mom said like no you can't keep that that's uh, that's crazy and because <laughs> she said that I'm gonna remember exactly the location the situation uh, where we had that tea break and this is definitely going in my Sri Lanka project because of that when you go to the beach you can have seashells but you have to be careful with endangered species and this is actually just an example it's way too big to use in a scrapbook but maybe you guys use them as well on like the cover but you always have like smaller shells and you can collect sand and you keep them in a zip bag um, I don't collect sand even when I go to the beach but I link 
some to another video of someone I forgot the name she used her fuse tool and made a shaker card and put sand in that and on the cover of her album to Lanzarote I think it was the Lanzarote trip it's really nice so check that out I'm gonna put it in the description so when you go to a restaurant they have sometimes really nice tissues mini cards I love mini cards Whenever I see them, I have to go through them. And these are, you know, you get them from the sides that you can go to museums, national galleries, the famous sites. But this from uh, Stockholm, I thought, because they, they had special, like, about the bridges and the old town and also some facts about Sweden and Stockholm. So they come with this little hose. You can use them as tags as well and with the location where it is. So... I'm going to make a thread through there, use them as a tag and then you can flip it around, it's really nice. Or just put them in an envelope sticking out and you just see old time Gamla Stan and then you can take it out and have a read. Now bags as well, you can uh, collect different kind of bags uh, during your journey. This was a little bag that we got in Thailand, we bought a little magnet souvenir and it came in this transparent bag and I thought that's too cool I, to miss so I'm gonna take this with me and these <laughs> are actually sick bags you know the bags you get on the plane in case you get sick this is from SAS Euro rings and yeah, it's a bit strange maybe but as I said you pay to be on that plane and they have tons of that so if you take them that's this this pure color I really like it so I might cover this up and put something there, you know, and then you can slip in things. It's pretty cool in layouts. Also, you know, food bags, it was for, for the cookies at Subway. Or this in Florence, in Italy. We had some really cool paninis there. This is what the gift bag that we got um, when we went to Pisa to visit my friends. And this is pretty sturdy, this is pretty nice from, from a tea plantation in Sri Lanka. So we, the tea that we bought or that we got was in there, so you might even smell of tea, so that's cool. And that's a pretty big bag, yeah, I might cut just an image out or, you know, that part over here, but I can also take out the ribbons and use that in different ways. Just to mention with this kind of food bags you have to be careful that there's nothing too greasy on it. Will this, because there was this cup of uh, tea or whatever, coffee on top of it, I really like that. But if it gets too wet, uh, you know, it just disintegrate, disintegrates and you can't use it. Um, so you have to be very careful with that. Yeah, as I said, with candies that you bought, I was very, very careful with this to not let my husband rip it completely <laughs> so I can keep it because these were really, really nice. That was uh, in Stockholm, in Sweden, yeah. So this was actually from a food package, the top of uh, a show that we went to, Arangita. And this is from Amsterdam. So this basically, let me just show you. It was folded like this. And there were strobe waffles in that. You know, strobe waffles, there's delicacy with honey or syrup inside the, the waffles. Really, really nice. And I like the packaging, so kept that. So I might do some embellishments with that, use them in the backgrounds or make a tag out of that, you know, make a hole and do a ribbon and then I can put something here and do some journaling, journaling. So I can use that in many, many different ways because this um, crown here and everything can use it for our trip to the Netherlands. These are all sorts of stickers that you get. So this was from a visit to Persimmons in Australia. Or the food truck that I mentioned before, uh, where we went to in front of this Nordisk Museum. So they had this kind of labels on the plate. So I put them on the back of this receipt, which I'm not going to use. So I'm going to cut them out and put them in uh, a layout 
um, around the picture of the food that we had because it was really really nice and my husband knew I would go and collect that so he was very careful not to get some food and grease on the stickers. This is from a tour to the parliament. You know you get the stickers to put on your on your clothes, on your chest so they know that you uh, belong to that group, that tour group and I put that on a piece of paper that I uh, had with me and um, so I'm not gonna lose it. And this is from a band you know, that you put around your wrist when you go to an event or festival. This was the Formula One in 2014 in Australia. I'm just showing you this so you, you, you just get the sense of what you can collect because sometimes we just see this but we don't notice, we don't see the full potential that can use them in our travel scrapbooks and when you take them into your hand or if you see it like memories coming back so for example this is pretty obvious uh, in my opinion uh, this is the like not the ticket but the clip that you had to put on and then the staff of the museum would know yeah you, you've paid so you're allowed to go through the exhibitions and you were allowed to keep them so this was for my daughter and this is for the adult ones so I think this is pretty obvious that you, you can use them in, in a very funny way to, to clip it to your pictures on, on your side or make a cluster in, in, in a part of your layouts. Business cards um, from the food truck, oh I really love that food, um, from Maria, of course from the hotels that you stay in, from restaurants that you've been to, oh and this was pretty cool, uh, just a shop that we went through and which we, we liked in Amsterdam, so they have their own business cards as well, just as a reminder, um, you can collect these, you can keep them with you, they are very colorful, they're gonna add this aha effect and wow effect or if you want to look up oh yeah where was it um, what's the number you know like if you show your scrapbook to someone it helps you keep the memories alive then the sim cards that we uh, take this is from from Morocco so this pile is all about what you can collect in a hotel you know do not disturb and yes you can clean it they had several of those in the room, so I took one with me in different languages. Also, they have, you know, hotels have their own stationery. Uh, I might just cover this and use the background, this, this frame here, this border. They've got um, business cards as well. The hotel key folder. And I can put uh, like a journaling card in here, uh, so you can take it out. It's going to be interactive in your scrapbook or they have these little tissues so this is just for backgrounds maybe to give some more texture to your layouts. This was from a key car you know like like this but it broke it was from made of paper and it broke so I took just this little piece here and I thought oh if I have a picture of let's say my daughter sleeping and then I'm gonna put this next to that, you know, please do not disturb, we, we want our daughter to sleep as much as possible. This is something really uncommon and actually my husband pointed out uh, to me that we could use that or I could use that in a script book. So this is from the train trip that we took from, um, uh, where was it, north, of north Germany to Denmark and this is, you know, the headrest. And you can take it up um, because our daughter was playing with it and my husband was like oh that's pretty cute you know it shows that we are in the, in the family section of the train and since then I took for every train trip and even with um, like planes they have this like where your hat rests you can take that it's nice so I'm gonna use this as a divider between the cities like I'm gonna do our first stop and then use this like oh you can open this ah oh, this is the next city that's coming and this is probably one of the most important things like maps maps of the city that you are in in different ways you get them from your hotel or from like tourist information or your specific car um, maps like this is from all the museums of Stockholm and I always take multiple 
multiple maps, not only different maps of the same city, like these three, or yeah, I've got uh, this from Stockholm, I've got this from Stockholm, and some more, um, because they have different, different color schemes and different points. But I also like, for example, with this map here, uh, I would take like two or three of these. Like this is the one we used while we were on the go. It's pretty used and it's already going around the edges. Uh, but I might want to use this, you know, taking it out, having a look. Sometimes I, I write something on it, circle around, but then in another part, in another picture, on another layout, I want to cut out like this piece here and put it next to it, like this small image because we went inside and had lunch there. Um, so this is in the middle of that map and it wouldn't look nice if I cut out this and cut out that and then it's got all holes in it. So that's a top tip. Take multiple of these free maps. And actually, I also use leftover maps in a loads of different ways, using tags, using them in the background, using them as embellishments or like a corner holder of uh, pictures. So yes, this is just showing you different kinds of memorabilia that you can take with you. Maybe you haven't thought of one or the others and you don't feel as bad anymore, you know, taking that with you. If you don't use it, you know what I do, I might keep little things and do them in my project life. And if you don't use something, you know, after a while, then just toss it out. Then that's it. It wasn't worth it. It's okay. But it gives you possibilities to play around with it in your layouts. Um, yeah, I would like to know if you know of something else that you could collect and what would interest me most is what was the most crazy or like unusual or very specific memorabilia that you brought back home with you from your vacation yeah let me know in the comments if you like this video please like it and subscribe to my channel for more travel related scrapbook ideas styles and techniques my next video will be about the whole step-by-step -step project of DIYing a travel scrapbook in a fast, budget-friendly, minimalistic style. I'm going to start my Morocco scrapbook. Hope to see you again soon. Have a happy and safe travel and scrapbook on. Bye-bye.